Hello and welcome to today's video on how to move an Exchange Server 2016 mailbox database to another location. Let's log into Exchange Admin Center by using the credential of Administrator. In a previous video, we just created one new mailbox database named MDB01. Now in this video demonstration, first we are going to rename the existing mailbox database and then we will see how we can move the mailbox database to new location. When Exchange Server 2016 is installed, it creates a mailbox database for you on the server. If you install Exchange to the default path, then the mailbox database will be stored in C, Program Files, Microsoft, Exchange Server, V15 and under Mailbox Directory. If you see on our computer, on a C drive, Program Files, Microsoft, Exchange Server, V15, and under mailbox as you can see this is the two folder for our two mailbox database the default location is probably not suitable for your environment so you would likely want to move this database to the volume that you provision for your exchange database and log files another common scenario is that the database is growing and the current volume is low on a free disk space so you want to move it to the new larger volume a mailbox database can be moved but before you proceed, consider that the move requires the database to be dismounted and taken offline. So it will not be accessible by your mailbox users during the moving process. This is fine if the server has just been set up and there are no mailboxes on it. But if you are moving in database with active mailbox users, a better option would be to create a new database on the new volume and perform mailbox moves which are non-destructive to end user. Let's come back on our Exchange Admin Center and as you can see our mailbox database name is mailbox space database space that is a random numbers. So before I move the database I am first going to rename it and the uniquely generated name of this mailbox database is as you can see this is the name and is not desirable so I will rename it to mdb02 instead of this name so let's open exchange management shell and on a exchange management shell you have to run a command set hyphen mailbox database and you have to specify the name of your existing mailbox database and suppose if you do not remember the name of your mailbox database you can run the command get mailbox database on our server ax16 hyphen mbx01 this will gives us the list of the mailbox database on our server and as you can see we have a two mailbox database now let's run the command set hyphen mailbox database and then we have to specify the name of our mailbox database in our case it is mailbox database and random generated number let's specify the double quote and let's paste the name then we have to specify the new name and the name will be mdb02 and now let's hit enter okay so commands completed successfully and now let's again run the first command which we run for get the list of all mailbox database on our server and as you can see now we have a two mailbox database named mdb01 and mdb02 let's come back on our exchange admin center and let's click on refresh and you can see the name of our mailbox database is changed to mdb01 now if you see the path is c program files microsoft action server v15 and mailbox slash mdb01 and this is the path now we want to move from that location to our new location On a G drive under mailbox DB folder, we want to store the MDB01 under this location. So let's come back on a exchange management shell. And this time we have to run a command move hyphen database path. And then you have to specify the name of your database. In our case, it is MDB02. Then you have to specify the ADB file path. So this is the new path where you want to store the uh, edb file of this mailbox database and let's specify the path g slash mailbox db let's create a one uh, folder mdb02 okay slash 
MDB02. Then you have to specify the name of your mailbox database. In our case, it will be MDB02.adb. Then the specify the log folder path and it will be remain same G mailbox db slash mdb02 see this transaction log files are very important in a backup and restore operation of the database so it is best practice to store database file and logs in a different rows transaction logs can come handy while recovering exchange database just for the demonstration purpose i am storing the database file as well as log files on the same drive now let's uh, hit enter key the database is temporarily dismounted and it is ask us so are you sure you want to perform these actions moving database path mdb02 this default is yes now let's type for a yes to all now to perform these move operations database mdb02 must be temporarily dismounted which will make it inaccessible to all users do you want to continue yes The time operation takes will depends on how much data there is to be moved as well as the speed of the source and the destination disk. Generally speaking, the more data you have, the longer it will take, potentially becoming a very long outage for your users. And that's why I recommended considering moving a mailbox to the new database instead of moving the location of mailbox database. Okay. And under G drive, as you can see, we have our log files and as well as we have our mailbox database. Now let's come back on our Exchange Admin Center and on our Exchange Admin Center, click on our mailbox database named MDB02 and click on edit. And now you can see the database path is G slash mailbox DB slash MDB02 slash MDB02.adp. Let's come back on our exchange uh, management shell and now let's run a command get mailbox database hyphen identity name of your mailbox database in our case it is mdb 025 format list and hit enter okay and uh, here you can see the log folder path it is g colon slash mailbox db slash mdb02 and uh, this is the location of our adb file path and that is g colon slash mailbox db slash mdb02 slash mdb02.atp so this is the way how we can move the path of mailbox database and this is the way how we can rename existing mailbox database on exchange server 2016 that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video